Hi everyone, it's lovely to see you. At the moment, we're learning all about how God cares for everyone. And today we're hearing a story that Jesus told all about how much God cares for everyone who doesn't know him. God cares for everyone. Jesus told three stories to help us see that. And today we're looking at story number two. Now, I need you to go and get something for me today. Can you go and get some silver coins for me? So they could be 10p pieces, or they could be 20p pieces, or they could be 5p pieces. Or if you've got any, you could get some 50p pieces too. Just make sure they're silver. Why don't you pause the video, go and get 10 coins and then come back when you're ready and you can press play again. Well done everyone, I hope you've got your 10 coins with you. Now this story has lots of counting in it and we're going to count to 10 lots of times. So you're going to get your coins, I've got my coins, are we ready? Let's count and let's make sure that we've got 10 coins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Have you got ten coins too? Put your thumbs up if you have. Well done. Now this is a story of a woman. Let's say hello. Hello. Now this woman had 10 precious coins, just like you and just like me. Shall we count together, just like the woman counted her coins every day? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now these coins were very precious to the woman. She took the coins in her hand and she kept them very close to her heart. Can you do that for me? Well done. Now parents, this is where I need your help. Can you go and hide just one of the coins for me? Just one of the coins. If you could do that now, that would be great. So press pause, hide the coin and then come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So one day, do you remember this woman had 10 coins and so she counted. It was the Tuesday morning, she got up and she counted her coins. They were so precious to her. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She looked around. She couldn't find them. She counted them again. But she only got to nine. There was definitely one missing. She couldn't afford to lose it. She needed to work for a whole day to earn a coin like this. Now she, she thought that she better look for it. So, and I've lost a coin too. So that means that I need to look for mine. Hmm. And you need to, to look for yours because you've only got nine coins too. Okay, let's look together. So press pause, try and find the coin and then come back when you found it. Now parents, I hope you've hidden it well. Um, and children, why don't you go and look for your lost coin now? Here is the lost coin. The woman found it. She was so pleased. I hope you found your lost coin too. Now let's make sure they're all back because this woman wanted to know that they're all back and safe with her. You ready? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All ten coins. Well done. Now Jesus said that God is like the women in this story and we are like the coins. 
What does that mean? Well, God cares for us. Should we practice that together? God cares for us. And when we are lost, when we are far away, just like this coin was, God goes and looks for us. God goes and looks for us. And God is really, really happy when we come home to God. You see, God cares for everyone. God cares for everyone. God cares for people who don't know him yet. Just like the woman in the story cared about finding the lost coin, God cares about everyone, even those who don't know God yet. Let's pray together. P-R-A-Y, pray. Dear God, thank you that you care for everyone. Thank you that you care for us so much that you look for us and that when we come home, you are so happy. Thank you, God, that you care for us. Amen. Okay, we're now going to have a craft time with Laura. So Laura, over to you. Hi everyone, I hope that you are well and I hope that you enjoyed today's story of the lost coin. And we were thinking about how God cares for lost things. So to remind us of the story, we are going to make our own lost coin today. So you're going to need a few things. We're going to need a piece of cardboard, uh, just a scrap piece that could be from a cereal box or something like that. We're going to need some scissors and a pencil. And we're going to need some foil and some PVA glue. We also need something round to draw around and this needs to be the size that you want to make your coin. So you could make your coin really really small or you could make it a really big coin. So decide what size you want it to be and then you need to find something that's that size that you can draw around to make a nice circle. So I have already done that onto my cardboard you can see. So I'm making a coin, it's, it's fairly small, it's about that big. And then you need to get a grown-up to help you cut that out. So whatever size you decided to go for, cut it out and you should have a nice circle shape for our coin. So there's our coin shape. It doesn't really look like a coin at the moment. So we're going to use our foil to make it look shiny like a coin. So we need to get our PVA glue. I've got mine in this cup and put it onto one side of our coin. Rip a bit of your foil. You've got a piece just a little bit bigger than your circle, than your coin. And with a bit sticky side down, so the side you just put the glue on, put it onto the foil and make sure you stick it onto the less shiny side. So foil has a less shiny side and a really shiny side. We want to stick it on the less shiny side. So grown-ups might need to help do that. Give it a press down, give it a good squidge. And then we need to put some glue on the other side. So both sides are nice and sticky. Like that. And then we're gonna just put our foil, wrap it over the top. So it sticks to the other side and give it a good squish down. So now you should be able to see your cardboard inside the foil. Now what you can do is just trim off the edges, get a grown-up to help you. So we have our coin shape made of our foil. Give it another little squidge. Now it might be a bit slidey to start with until the glue dries, so let it dry. But then you've got your own lost coin. And if you like, once it's dried a little bit, you could add some more decorations. So maybe you want to put some glitter or some beads or something else to make your coin 
look really interesting and exciting. And this is going to help us to remember the story today of the lost coin and remind us how God cares for the lost. I hope that you enjoy making that today and I will see you next time for another craft. Bye bye. Thanks so much Laura, I hope you enjoyed making that craft and um, I certainly enjoyed making it too. So we'll see you back same time next week for another story about how God cares for us. See you then. Bye.